Today's video, I'm going to show you a route, probably one of the best new routes in college football 25. And this is going to come out of the Alabama playbook. I actually just uh, dropped a full Alabama offensive ebook. I love Alabama right now. It's probably the best trips in the game. And uh, cool part is you can use it in the road to college playoff because Alabama is actually a really good team. So if you want to check out that full ebook, that's going to be in our school community for just 10 bucks. You can become a school member and get access to all of our college football and Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So you can do this out of any play. It doesn't, doesn't really matter to me what play you do it out of. I'm going to do it today out of the play uh, PA slot corner. So basically what you're going to do here is you're going to streak your slot receiver, and then you're going to use this new hot route, the uh, – where is it at here? The speed out, the speed out. Uh, this speed out is insane. So what you're going to do is you're going to stem this speed out up to about 10 to 15 yards. So you want this to go kind of a little bit over the top of where like a purple would get. And then you're just going to, you know, basically have this corner going over the top of it. The purpose of the corner, I would stem it up as well, uh, is if they run cover two. And we'll cover that in a minute. But what you're going to see here is you just throw it right on the cut. This thing's insane. It's a quick throw. So you can throw it really quickly. And you're just going to you're just gonna beat coverage. I'll show it to you again here. So just throw it. Quinn Ewers is kind of selling. Now, what I would, I also uh, would say with this, so think of this route kind of like a C route, but a little bit better, honestly. And if you think about how this is going to work, you're not going to pass lead this, or you're not going to free form it. You're just going to pass lead it. So right when he turns his shoulder, see how? Because if you don't, if you if you're not careful, it is a timing throw. If you're not careful with this throw, you're going to throw it out of bounds a lot. So what I would do is I would really advise just kind of learning the timing of this throw. But basically, you're kind of kind of trying to – and that was exactly what we want to do, as you see. So this is essentially going to destroy cover three and cover four. I'm going to talk a little bit about what cover uh, two with this as well. But that was cover four. Now I'm going to show you cover three. And then we'll also talk about curl flats. So if, in my experience running this play a lot lately, curl flats don't really cover this. And you kind of want to throw it almost like a corner route. Like you're going to throw it up and to the left, basically. So you're going to see here, I'm just basically looking to the left side. If I have space to throw this – here I'm going to use uh, outside and over top coverage, and I'm going to pass commit. So you're going to see here, watch this out route. Pass lead up, and you see, super good, super good read, super good route. I love this route. You can do a lot to get this open. Uh, you don't want to run this route to the short side of the field. This is a wide side of the field combo. You do not want to run this to the short side. I'm going to use a cloud flat now on the slot corner. We'll show you that that's not going to guard it either. So you see, he looks a little bit better, but as you see, I can still just – Kind of zip it out there. The only coverage that I know that's going to really kind of give this a little bit of trouble is going to be the cover two. So with the cover two coverage, what you're going to get is this cloud is just going to kind of basically sit on this. And you're going to see this super early into the play. So you'll see, see how he kind of presses him. And sometimes you can actually even throw it over the top. As you see right there. And you want to look at this, obviously. If there's space, throw it. If there's not space, don't throw it, right? But this is why we put this route combination together with the PA slot corner. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use this out route as a pull route for this deeper corner route. So this is essentially the trips version of double corner. So you could do something like this on the right side if you want to have some quick reads. I love this route combo right now. But basically what you're going to see is that you see that cover two, and then you're going to be able to easily hit this over the top for a big hitter. So you have the deep corner for cover two situations, and then you have kind of the short out route for pretty much everything else. Um, this out route can – uh, get over the top of a cover two coverage. I want to really stress that. So like here, you'll see, and he didn't really get over that, but look who's wide open. Over the top of that is this outside guy. Now, as you see right there, my outside player is kind of being a little weird. I'm going to show you a super advanced little, little tip here with route stemming. What you can do with this PA slot corner play is you can actually stem the corner route and the post route. So you're going to stem this post route super high. So you basically want this post route to cut right with this corner so you see here we're going to get the super deep stems and then what we're going to be able to do here is this post is going to kind of pull the deep half if our outside guy will go on his route uh, the post is going to kind of pull the deep half so you see here post is going to pull that deep half inside and then this is going to be a little bit more open to the outside to the sideline so all in all this is one of my favorite plays in the game cool part is if you motion let's say you motion this guy now you have it like this this is kind of a fun little play here. This little double corner basically is what we're doing. This is also going to beat those purples, those clouds. They're really never going to get out there, and this is going to almost be ran like a corner out. 
So probably one of my favorite plays and concepts of the game. Add this to your offense. Uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this route. Again, this is the deep or the speed dig. And essentially, you're just throwing this right on the cut, pass lead up and up and outside. And you're going to off- you're going to get a lot of possession catches on the sideline there. If you are having trouble with this, try uh, maybe running him a little bit deeper. Or you can try uh, – you can even do this quick throw. So, like, you'll see here, like, if I stem it up one tick, it's not going to go quite 10 yards. Essentially, right as I snap the ball, this thing's going to be out, and you're going to be throwing it, and you're going to be catching it. So – I really like the speed dig, especially in spread out formations. Another thing you can do, you can kind of bring this slot corner inside. Um, this is also going to be really good because now you can kind of work a little bit more of a basic combo and you can get this out route to cut super quick. So it's just a snap. Look out there. If there's a cloud, you don't throw it. But if there isn't a cloud, then you're able to take advantage of it with the speed dig or the speed dig out so or speed out, whatever you call it. Um, anyway, so this is one of my favorite plays in the game right now. I think this play is going to give you guys a lot of success against a lot of coverages. It's going to force them to play cover two. And then at the right time, a little pro tip for you, um, at the right time, if they do play cover two, then you can actually utilize this corner route to pull the half. And you can throw this guy on a post and put him up one or two ticks and run the play like this. So it looks very similar. But now against cover two, we're going to have a big hitter that has potential to be able to get us uh, a touchdown against cover two. So the way you would throw that, let me show it to you real quick, a little bit better than that. So the way you would throw this, like if they do have a mid read, is you would just wait on this post a little bit. The post will eventually clear the mid read. And that's why I like to stem the post up a little bit, get a little bit deeper. And essentially here, you're going to see, just wait on this route. Trey Moore is going to ruin the video. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dude, because of the pass rush, we're just spying everybody. I'm so over the pass rush, like, ruining everything that I do in this game. Like, the pass rush in in, in practice mode is unbelievably, like, broken. It, it really, truly is. It's actually worse than Madden somehow. I didn't know it was possible for it to be worse than Madden, but it totally is. So, again, we're just going to stem this up. We're going to stem the corner out on the right down, pull that half. You see it pulls that half. We wait on this, wait on this, wait on this, wait on this. And eventually, we're going to have a touchdown or at least a big play if they are going to consistently want to run that cover two coverage. But that is the speed out, one of my favorite routes in college football 25.